the game factory where fun is made. Children, did William tell you he was leaving school? Um, no, sir. That's strange. His father's voice sounded weird when he called me. I hope that nothing serious has happened to him. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Aren't you participating in the college drawing contest? You still have time to sign up, you know. It's happening behind this door, but don't make any noise. Some of them are already working. Hey, how's it going? You're not at the factory? No way. It's too nice out to glue my eyes to a computer screen. You sure you're OK, Jeremy? No worries, cutie. I'm in great shape. Not to panic. It's Jeremy's clone. He programmed it so he could spend more time on Lyoko while still being in class. All right, I want one too. Really? Why? Haven't you got enough time to sleep and pig out after class? Hey, babe. Something on your mind? Are you wondering what's behind this door? I wondered too, and after asking around, I discovered that it was only a maintenance room for setting the parameters of this game. Hey, Ulrich! Any chance you could give me an interview? I'm writing an article about the good-looking guys on campus. You figure you're a journalist? Editor-in-chief, to be exact. From now on, the Catech News is me! Cool. Look, about the interview, I haven't got much time at the moment. I uh, have to get to the pool. Why don't you ask Odd? He's always got scoops about the menu at the snack bar. Yeah, you want to be happy about the menu for lunch. We're having quiche. Very funny. I tried to get out lots of time during recess, but it never worked. The only thing I got was detention. Definitely not cool. Odd, what are you doing here? Don't you have a math class? Yeah, but I'm totally lost. It's not that complex. Math just needs a little logic and... Easy for you to say, Mr. Computer Genius. Anyway, have you finished rebuilding Lyoko? Almost. Another couple of days and it will be up and running. That's great. I can't wait to try out my new outfit. It makes me look real good. Lyoko isn't Halloween odd, and Xana has been strangely quiet recently, so there's no reason to go. Come on, be a pal. Just a couple of minutes? Out of the question. Oh, man, what a wet blanket. You should go back to your math class. There's a quiz next week. What about William? No signs of life? Can I go get him? No, but I don't know how long we can keep hiding his absence from the principal. No prob, Einstein. With your genius and my talent, we'll find him in no time. I hope so. How many days have you been working nonstop? Shouldn't you sleep a little? You work too much, you know. No time for sleep. The super scan shows a tower coming online in the desert sector. I'll call the others. No, don't! If they skip class, I won't be able to copy their notes. I'll take care of it. Okay, go ahead. I'll start the procedure. Virtualization.
Is that it, Odd? I just never get tired of this new outfit. So classy! Get serious, okay? We have to find the tower and disable it. No problem! You may have a new outfit, but the basics are still the same. Hey, this place looks just right for jump training. This save point will record where you are. Shoot at the switches to activate them. You've got company. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I need more data to clear this obstacle. Odd, use this well of life to fill up on life points. Then hang on to this wall with your claws. It looks more like he found you. Yeah. If you think you can scare me with that, William. I'm taking control of the tower remotely. Stick around. No problemo! I'm also an expert at doing nothing! Ta-da! Nice going, Odd. You did a really good job. Thank you, thank you. You see, I told you that I could handle it. My new outfit gives me wings! Now that the tower's neutralized, Xana should leave us alone till we finish rebuilding Lyoko. But I'm more and more worried about William. We need to get him out of Xana's clutches. You've got an idea? No. But for now, no more solo missions. It's far too dangerous. Okay, I've got work to do. You and the others come back and see me later. I'm sure I'll have other missions for you. Leave me alone. What's wrong, Mrs. Hertz? It's you. You! I can't take it anymore. I haven't slept all week because of you students. You're in my nightmares. I'm all alone in front of you. Thousands of you. Right there, looking at me with your vicious little eyes and your pointy little teeth like vampires. Hey, me too. I had a nightmare last night. Kiwi had turned into a giant and he was flying around the sky dropping poison meatballs. And there I was, swimming around in an ocean of fish batter. But I couldn't drown. The stuff was too thick. Mm. 
Leave me alone. <laughs>